Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the Fortnite Legendary Series DJ Yonder. This is a 6 inch action figure by Jazzwares based on the epic games called Fortnite. It came out in early 2019. However, I got this through an online store sometime in 2020 or 2021. And here it is in a nice window package. I need a window package so I can see the action figure and the accessories that it comes with. I like to know what I'm buying before I buy it, especially for something this expensive. And this kind of item has been in window boxes for decades. There are action figures way back in the 70s, maybe even earlier, that had window boxes or window packages. So. Here is the front of the package. Here's the top where we have the window wrapping around up the top to let in more light. Here is the bottom with some manufacturing information. Here is one side. Here is the other side. And here is the back with a picture of the character from the game. And DJ Yonder's quote is, Packing a playlist for the perfect party. And this is part of Series 2, the second series of Legendary Series action figures. These are the other action figures in the wave. So I will open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here are the accessories that come with DJ Yonder. Over here is some sort of crystal globe or glass globe very interesting item and I think there's a slot here that we put in put on the fingers and then the thumb can go into this middle part so the action figure can hold this crystal ball or crystal globe so very interesting and here is a rifle so it looks like a very nicely sculpted and painted weapon. I'm not sure what kind this one is, but it just looks cool. So I like how it uh, looks. They put in a lot of effort to sculpt it and paint it, so it looks very nice. Here is a harvesting tool. Nicely sculpted and detailed. I think it's at least two or maybe three parts. At the top it looks like two parts. Um, put together and then perhaps the third part is this handle so they put in some effort in sculpting it and actually painting the details so I do like all the extra effort put into some of these accessories here are a pair of pistols they look identical Sculpted and painted identically, so very nice. This is an interesting item. This clips around the waist of the action figure. So DJ Yonder is some kind of disc jockey, so his portable um, turntable machine. Lots of painting. Now it's hollow here, but I guess I have to save on plastic somewhere. And then here is the back bling or backpack or something. Looks like a mini cape. Looks like it's uh, meant to represent the volume. And this plugs into the hole in the back of the action figure. So, jazz wear does a lot of nice work on making the accessories for the action figures. Here is DJ Yonder. Let's take a look at how tall this action figure is. Up to the top of the head with the uh, looks like antenna th things. It's uh, almost six and a half inches tall or about 16 and a half centimeters tall. So it's a fairly tall action figure but mostly because of the head here or these antenna pieces so this looks like some sort of um, 
robotic alien llama or something. Although I think there's supposed to be an actual human head underneath this, although I don't see how it would actually fit with the way this thing is designed. But it's a very interesting design. So, yeah, some kind of robotic uh, llama. So, very unusual. This might be the first of its kind out of all the action figures ever made in the world. So, cool. So, it's a nicely sculpted head here with a lot of painting details on it. Interesting eyes or a visor. There's a mouth that's actually articulated. The rest of this has an interesting um, outfit here. This part here is a soft pliable plastic that's over um, a standard body. Looks like it's nicely painted. Although it's painted on this side but not here on the edge. Whereas the edge here is painted but not on the top. So interesting lots of sculpted details on the arm not a whole lot of fine detail but it looks like clothing and they did a lot of work sculpting and painting the gloves so I'm impressed with the amount of work and fine detail they put into this action figure this part hangs down we could look up so it might be able to come off if we take the arms off and the head off but I'm not going to try that so some sculpted detail on the, the pants here some painting too down here some interesting designs and then the shoes very interesting tongue on the shoe there his feet are kind of long, I think longer than most of the action figures. Which actually, I think, helps with making the action figure stand. So, I do like that. There's some detail on the bottom, peg holes in the heels. And they also did some sculpting and painting on the back here, so... I'm really happy with the amount of work they put into the details on the action figure on all sides. There's the there's a peg hole for the uh, back bling or backpack. Looks like that's meant to be uh, perhaps that's a hood. Meant to be a hood, but it's not a real hood. So it certainly looks nice. Now let's take a look at the uh, articulation. So the mouth actually opens and closes, so that's nice. The head moves up that much, down a little bit more, turn side to side, and not much tilting. Shoulders, so this side moves very nicely. This side is very hard to move. You hear that? Very loud clicking noise. So, I've been working on this for a little while, so it's loosened up a bit, but still, I just don't like how that sounds. So, I think it actually goes quite a bit higher. I don't want to push this one too much. So, let's see if I can move it back into position. That is very, very hard. I'm not happy about how hard that is. Wow, that is really hard. I'll bring this right back. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's something I don't want to move around too much because I'm afraid I'm, if I don't have if I have too much leverage, I'm afraid I'm going to break something. So that it's just very tight there. Unless it's backwards, maybe it's backwards. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. That's interesting. Maybe it was backwards the whole time. So, if we look here, we have a lot of, um, we, we can see the joint there, so a little more than most action figures. Very interesting. So, we have a bicep cut here. That works. We have double jointed elbows. They go in quite a bit. Very impressive. And we can turn the wrist. There are hinges on the wrist. This one's very tight. Yeah. We can see the joint there. So it is supposed to move, although I really just don't want to push very hard on it. Then we have finger joints. Those are also very stiff. They will move just a little bit. There is a diaphragm cut in here. So we can crunch forward that much. We can bend back that much. So it's limited by this plastic piece here. But it does move around. We also have a waist cut. Very nice. We can do the splits. If you hear that. There's some ratcheting in the joints there. And then. There we go. We can kick forward. Back. Not really. Kick forward. And can't really kick back. So some of the ratchets are very, very strong in this. So I hope that doesn't mean there's a problem. Then we have upper thigh cut. That works. We have double jointed knees. So that seems to be working. Pretty nice. And no boot cut. Now, when I first got this out of the package, the ankle joints were extremely stiff. They were also stuck in this position where I couldn't really get it to stand. But after looking very carefully at where the joint was, I, I worked on um, loosening up the joint. So now to work. I was very worried at first, but the ankles go down that much. They go up a little bit. They're limited by the tongue of the shoe here. And do we do have pivot here. And then a little bit of articulation at the toes. So the joints seem to be working pretty nicely for the most part now, but they were extremely stiff when I pulled it out of the package and I was very worried about it. Also, I wonder if this one was backwards the whole time. So, it does stand very nicely now, now that I've managed to get the ankles working. So, at first the joints were way too stiff and I was really afraid of breaking something. I'm still worried about it, but seems to be working pretty nicely now. Here is DJ Yonder with some of his equipment. I really like this um, uh, turntable that he has attached to his waist there. Very interesting um, accessory there. There's uh, one of his weapons. Although the finger joints are a bit stiff and I haven't been able to get them to bend very well. So some of these weapons will fit in very loosely. And it takes a little bit of work to make sure that the fingers are wedged into the slot on the bottom of this crystal globe thing. And the back bling, or backpack, looks kind of nice. Looks like a mini cape, actually. And it does peg in just a little bit, but it's very loose. I think it'll fall off at any moment. And I don't want to push too hard on the back. So... Also, a little bit uh, work to make sure it's balanced nicely. It still looks very cool, though.
oops yes a bit of trouble making it um, balance correctly there we go here is DJ Yonder next to a pair of four inch action figures on the right side is a four inch adventurer action figure from an animal planet set I reviewed a while ago and on the left is a four inch Fortnite action figure by Jazzware named Jonesy. Here is DJ Yonder next to a pair of six inch action figures. On the right side is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin White Ranger. And on the left is the Marvel Legends Mr. Fantastic action figure. Those are both made by Hasbro. Here is DJ Yonder next to a couple other action figures. On the right side is a seven inch Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, He-Man action figure by Mattel. And on the left is a 6-inch Fortnite Legendary Series action figure, Havoc, by Jazzwares. And it looks like the Jazzware action figures are not reusing any parts. It looks like they both have completely different body parts from each other. So it's nice that they put in some effort in making a variety of molds for different characters. The Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for DJ Yonder is it's alright. I'd I like to make it a little more than alright but uh, the the stiffness of the joints especially the ankle joints and uh, shoulder joints just had me really worried at first so not a very good first impression. It certainly looks cool and the joints seem to be working much better now that I've been working on it and I think in the package perhaps this shoulder joint was backwards or upside down so I turned it around and it seems to be working a little better now still the first impression is there were some problems with it I do like the accessories that come with it this is a very interesting accessory and some of these other items look very, very interesting, so I do like those. And I think that's a nice addition to a collection, and these are very useful for different displays or dioramas. So I'm pretty happy with it, so perhaps it should be a little more than just all right, but uh, still the first impression with the uh, joint problem uh, still has me worried. Thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.